Welcome to two projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project blockchain based check verification and clearance system. Before diving into the execution, let me give you an overview of the project. So the blockchain based check verification and clearance system is a new way to make check processing easier and safer. Traditional methods of doing this have problems like delays and fraud risks. So this system is very important because it uses blockchain to fix these issues. It keeps checks safe, speeds up the process and makes transactions easy to track. By using blockchain, the system aims to make check processing more efficient, secure and transparent, building trust in financial transactions. So now we'll know what is blockchain, how does it work? and its advantages. So blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unicode called a hash. So these blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes, making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. So in this case, each check transaction is encrypted and linked in a chain of blocks where each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block. This ensures that any tampering is evident as changes in the previous block's hash would alter the change. So users can track the status of checks easily ensuring data integrity and transparency. So blockchain offers several advantages. First, it is decentralized meaning the data isn't stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in encrypted format that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it promotes transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability, meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. So we have many types of blockchain like Bitcoin, Stellar, Ripple, Ethereum, etc. We are use using Ethereum blockchain in this project. So Ethereum blockchain is a decentralized platform renowned for its support of smart contracts. So smart contracts streamline the processes of securely storing and managing checks, verifying and clearing checks, ensuring transparency and reliability in financial transactions. And we have also integrated Ganache and Metamask in this project. So Ganache is a user-friendly interface for monitoring Ethereum blockchain activities. So it simplifies tracking of accounts, transactions, and smart contracts, making it accessible even for users without in-depth blockchain expertise. Ganesh offers detailed transaction information, including sender, receiver, amounts, gas usage, and success status, aiding debugging and ensuring transaction accuracy. And it also tracks smart contract deployments, confirming correct deployment and functionality. This transparency simplifies monitoring and verification processes. And Ganache lets us dive into the details of each block on the Ethereum blockchain. We can find out when a particular block was added, what transactions took place within it and how much computing power was used. Computing power in the sense gas. So Ganache also enables data retrieval from stored blocks, allowing developers to access and analyze specific block information. Coming to MetaMask, MetaMask is both an Ethereum wallet and a browser extension. It simplifies cryptocurrency management and provides direct access to dApps, making interactions with blockchain applications easier. So in this project, MetaMask ensures secure Ethereum transactions, promoting transparency by showing the deduction of ETH as fees. So this transparency maintains accuracy and ensures confident 
reliable financial interactions within the system. So the blockchain verification, check verification and clearance system aims to enhance security, increase efficiency and promote transparency in check processing. By using blockchain, it ensures that check transactions are tamper-proof and securely stored across multiple nodes. Smart contracts streamline the process, reducing delays and errors. Cryptographic hashing maintains data integrity, making any unauthorized changes easily detectable. So this system benefits banks, bank customers, regulatory bodies, developers, and the financial industry by providing a faster and more secure, reliable way to manage check transactions. So this is the overview. Now we'll look at the software and hardware requirements to execute this project. Software requirements are Python IDLE of 3.7.0 version, Node.js, Visual Studio Community version, Ganache, and Metamask Chrome extension. Now we'll look at the software and hardware requirements. So software requirements are Python IDLE of 3.7.0 version, Node.js, Visual Studio Community version, Ganache, and Metamask Chrome extension. Backend languages used are Python, JavaScript, and Solidity. Framework used is Django. Frontend languages required are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Coming to the hardware requirements, so we need processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and ROM of 20 GB and above. So these are the requirements. Now we'll look at the execution. Before execution, first we need to open the code folder, which contains the project source code files. So this is the code folder and these are the contents I have in the code folder. So this is check folder. Inside this folder are Python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project during runtime. This is check app folder. This folder comprises a static folder which contains files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. These files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application. And check app folder also contains a templates folder. Within this folder, we'll find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. It includes pages like index.html, home.html, and more, representing various sections of the website. And it also contains Python code files that will be executed during the runtime of the application, supporting its functionality. This is check SOL file. So this file consists of Solidity code. It handles data structures, functions, and events with modifiers for validation. This is manage.py file. It is a command line utility that comes with Django. It provides various commands for managing Django projects, including tasks like running the development server, creating database tables, applying migrations, and more. And this is run.bad file. Instead of executing the program through command line interface, we have created Windows batch file to execute the project. By double clicking on it, we can compile the manage.py file to run the project. So before compiling the manage.py file, first we need to host the Ganache server. So open Ganache. I have already created the workplace for workspace for check. I'm clicking on it. So we can see the server has been hosted. Now minimize this. Now double click on run.bat file. So here the manage.py file is compiled. The Django framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port. This is the local host and this is the port. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I usually prefer Chrome. 
after pasting it type index.html at the end and hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Django framework. So here we can see bank login, user login and sign up here links. First we'll register, click on sign up here link. So if we are new users, we have to register ourselves first. We can register as bank and we can also register as user. So first we'll register as bank, give these details, username would be SBI bank, give the password, give the contact number, give the email ID, the address, we have to select the user type here from the drop down as either bank or user, I'm giving it as bank. Now click on submit button. So here we can see the sign up process is completed and all these details will be stored in the blockchain in a form of block. So we can see the block hash here, the block number in which the details have been stored. And these are other transaction related details. And if we see in Ganache, so we can see a block has been created, this block in which all these bank details are stored. So we can see the date and time at which the block has been created, at which the details have been stored. We can see the gas used for this transaction. So we have registered as bank. Now we'll register as user. Username would be Ram. Give the password. Give the contact number. Give the email ID. The address. Select the user type as user. And click on submit button. So we can see the sign up process is completed. We can see the transaction hash here. We can see the block number in which these details have been stored. We can see the gas used and the other details related to the transaction. So all these details of the user will be stored in the blockchain in a form of block. We can see that in Ganache also. We can see a new block has been created in which these user details, which I have just entered, will be stored. We'll create another user. Username this time would be Suresh. Give the password. Give the contact number. Give the email ID and the address. Select the user type as user and click on submit button. So we can see the sign up process is completed. We can see all the data related to the block in which these details are been stored. We can see the transaction hash, the block number in which these details are been stored. We can see the gas used. And in Ganache, we can see the block has been created in which these details, the details of Suresh will be stored. Now click on minimize. Now we'll log in as bank first. Give the credentials of bank here. Username is SBI. Give the password and click on login button. So we have logged in as bank. So here we can see view pending checks, daily transaction statistics and logout links. So by clicking on the view pending checks link, here bankers can view the pending checks details and can clear the checks. We can see there are no pending checks yet. And by clicking on the daily transaction statistics link, here bankers can view the daily transactions done by the customers. So we can see there are no transactions done by the customers yet. So now click on logout. Now we'll log in as user Ram. Click on user login, give the credentials of Ram. And click on login button. 
so it has redirected us to the rams dashboard so we have logged in as ram here we can see digital check generation view status and logout links click on digital check generation link so here ram can generate digital check we have to select the bank name from the drop down we have only one bank registered we have to select the receiver name who will who will receive this check so i have suresh name here i'm selecting suresh so i'm sending this check to suresh and we have to give the amount which we wanted to send i'm giving it as 10000 now click on submit button so here we can see all these transaction details will be stored in the blockchain in a form of block. We can see the details, the transaction hash, the block number 14. So in this block number 14, the details have been stored. We can see the block hash. We can see the contract address and other details. And in Ganesh, we can see a block has been created in which all these transaction details will be stored. We can see the date and time at which this block has been created. We can see the gas used. Now click on back. And if we open the MetaMask, click on the MetaMask Chrome extension. So here we have to give the password. So we can see in the MetaMask wallet, I have a balance of 99.9821 ETH, which represents the detected amount after recent transactions. So in the context of blockchain transactions refers to the actions or operations that are recorded on the blockchain ledger. So by clicking on this view status link, so here we can see the details of the check we have sent, the sender name, Ram has sent the check, the bank name, the receiver name, the amount, the check date, the hash code, the status, the status is pending, check didn't, check hasn't been cleared yet. And we can see the QR code. Now click on logout. Now we'll log in as Suresh. Give the credentials of Suresh. So we have logged in as Suresh. Click on view status link. So here we can see the details of the check. Sender name, receiver name, bank. The status here is pending. So Suresh didn't receive the amount yet because the check hasn't been cleared by the bank. Now click on logout. Click on bank login, we'll log in as bank. Give the password. Click on login, so we have logged in as bank. Click on view pending checks link. So here we can see we have one pending check which has to be cleared. So we can see all the details. And by clicking on this click here link, the banker can clear the check. So I'm clicking on this click here link. So here we can see check status successfully cleared. So the check has been cleared. Now the receiver will receive the amount. Click on daily transaction statistics link. So here we can see the bank name, date and the transaction done today is 10,000. Click on logout. We'll log in as Ram. Give the credentials of Ram and click on login. We have logged in as Ram. Click on view status link. So here we can see the status of the check has been changed, updated, so we can see cleared here. So the check has been cleared. Click on logout, we'll log in as user Suresh.
we have logged in as Suresh. Click on view status link. So we can see the check has been cleared. The status has been changed. So now after clearing the check, Suresh will receive the amount that is 10,000 sent by the RAM. Now click on log out. So in Ganache, we can see all the transactions, details, registration details. So all these details will be stored in this blockchain as blocks and can be retrieved from here. So we can retrieve the data from these blocks. We can see the blocks cre created in Ganache. And by clicking on any block, so here we can see the block hash, the gas used, the gas limit, transaction hash, from address to contract address. By clicking on this transaction hash, so we can see the sender address to contract address, gas used, gas price, gas limit, mined in blocks. So how many blocks we have created, the transaction data, And in MetaMask, so we can see my ETH balance remains unchanged after each block creation because the project's actions don't involve significant ETH transfers. This is normal as not all operations lead to substantial balance changes. So this project, the blockchain based check verification and clearance system enhances security, efficiency and transparency in check processing. By leveraging the Ethereum blockchain, smart contracts, Ganache and MetaMask, the system eliminates fraud, reduces errors and ensures tamper proof transactions, providing a reliable and modern solution for financial institutions and customers. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.